It is about 8 a.m. and we're in Germany right now. This place is super dope. We've been here for about three or four days now and today is gonna be my first expo day. We had an expo day yesterday, but I didn't go. I decided to stay and work at the hotel for a little bit. I mean, anything I realistically missed yesterday, I can still see over the next three days. So today I'm gonna to go to the expo. I'm gonna bring you guys with me to the expo. Cause we're out of time, no more stop. I'm actually going to the expo right now. I'm here with Val and Ben. We're walking to the expo right now, and I'll show you guys a little bit what's going on here. I think that I can stay friends with you. I don't think that I can pretend I'm through. Rashawn never wants me in his vlogs anymore, so you guys haven't seen <laughs> I know, I was gonna say, a lot of my followers are Steph followers, I feel like, or Jeff. And no, one, like, he, he, and he no does, one ever sees Steph, so. Here's your daily dose I'm of Steph. Here. I don't think that I can. So we are finally back from Germany, just wrapped up that trip. We're back in Jacksonville now. I'm actually only here for two more days with Jeff and Steph. And then we'll be re-linking up in Toronto at the Toronto Pro Show. So if you guys are going to the Toronto Pro Show, say what's up, I'll be there. I think we'll be at the Rise booth, not the PU Science booth this time. And let me know if you guys are going to that. But two more days, we're gonna go get our final workout in at Bailey's. If I look kind of rough or I sound kind of groggy right now, it's because it's 12 and I just got up. But I wanted to get up and give you guys a physique update show you guys what i'm looking like starting to feel like a little leaner but yeah i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys physique update right now weighing in at about 195.6 if you guys need like a reference to like my starting weight go back to two videos ago and kind of give you guys a reference of what i was looking like a couple weeks ago but right now 195 you can start to see i'm starting to lean out abs starting to come in right here biceps getting leaner i'm feeling like super flat right now i literally just woke up but i just kind of want to be transparent and show you guys what i'm looking like start of the morning here i'm at the point in my physique right now where every pound is starting to make a difference so i think at about 193 i'll really start seeing a difference i'm hoping i don't have to dig past like 186 that would just be like that'd be bad that'd be bad but i'm hoping 190 is going to be that really lean weight so i'm gonna keep digging until about then so going with the chicken margarita macros on this is about 36 carbs 17 protein six grams of fat i don't know if that's focusing but 270 calories all i just smash like three of these a day and it's usually pretty fine to fit all my macros Who are you talking to over there bro good morning bro we're on the vlog <laughs> welcome to the vlog welcome to the vlog <laughs> jeff hit me up this morning he's like yo we're gonna catch an uber to go work out so i'm gonna smash this as my pre-workout meal it's got enough carbs in there i feel like it should be good for giving me some energy i am feeling groggy so i'll probably take like 50 scoops of pre-workout this gonna be like my last workout at bailey's uh, if, we, if they let you in man if they let me in <laughs> <laughs> if they let me in i don't really have a pass to go to this gym right now my pass actually expired when we got back from germany so i've been using like julie's pass <laughs> stephanie's pass sometimes i'm white i'm jeff nipper sometimes <laughs> uh, so i mean if they let me in on one of these passes or the guest pass that he could bring me in as a guest but i've used so many other people's passes that they might not even want to let me in as a guest <laughs> because i've been breaking the rules so much lately so hopefully they let me in um i don't know but smash this i'm thinking i'm gonna go hit a back and buy jeff said he got an arm day so yeah i'm gonna try and get a couple clips and take you guys through it i don't think i have a back and buy workout on my channel yet so you know we got to get that on there say that one more time <laughs> what did you just say i said that i quit rap for a month i'm quitting for a month he's only gonna listen to rock now yeah it's That's true. trash. No. It's trash. That trash. I mean, I kind of agree with him. Like, it's a lot of bad stuff coming out right now. So, before I go to the gym right now, I'm about to make a playlist of artists or just songs in general of like real, real rap. And that's like what I'm going to be listening to today. So, guys like Nas, guys like Davies, not G Easy, not Logic. Who else is trash? <laughs> Who's trash? Yo, Davies does not belong on that list. What? 
Look, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make <laughs> a good him list. Put him at the end of it. No, no, Dave East is there, bro. I'm gonna make a, a new list of music because I'm sick of listening to No, that sounds school, good. So. I will listen to that playlist in June. Yeah. So lately with my workouts, I have been starting them out with a bit of cardio just to get the blood flowing. If I warm up and I do about 60 calories, I might finish it off at the end, hit 40. And then for that whole workout, I'll just say I did 100 calories worth of cardio if I don't do actual cardio session that day. And then I moved on to my actual workout. I did the seated row machine to start it off. I usually don't do this machine, but I wanted to switch it up today just because I had a high volume day. So on all the exercises, I was doing a four by 15. With this movement, I was just really trying to squeeze the lats and really trying to get a full contraction. I tried my best in the middle of the sets to remember to really extend my arms all the way out and get the full lat stretch and get the full contraction at the end of the movement. And then I moved on to a shrug. I actually did two sets with the dumbbells and then I moved on and switched over to the Smith machine and also did shrugs on the Smith machine. I think on my high volume days, I'm actually gonna start doing shrugs on the Smith machine uh, just to switch it up. And then on my heavy days where I do like four to six reps, I'll just keep doing the dumbbells. Just trying to make sure I switch it up and use every angle to my advantage when training. The next thing I moved on to was the lat pull down on this movement. Same thing, I just make sure I was getting the contraction, making sure I was fully extending on every rep. Uh, this is like a staple on my back workouts. I usually don't do any back workout without doing some type of lat pull down or doing some type of pull up. Next week, I'm actually gonna move up my weight on that. That was feeling a little easy today. And then I finished off with some biceps. Started out with a reverse curl. A lot of people don't do reverse curls. I don't know, it's one of those like kind of awkward curl movements that people don't think of, but I like to hit my biceps at every angle. I've always been like a firm believer in hitting them at every angle. So I always do my reverse curls on my high volume days just to make sure. And then the last exercise that I did was a seated curl. Considering it was a high volume day, I did use lower weight. I did about 25s on these through all four sets. Actually, I think maybe the first set was 20 pound dumbbells, but for the rest of them, I did about 25 pounds on those. With that movement, having your arms hanging down, you get just a full range of motion, full contraction. And like by the third or fourth set, my arms were just like on fire. I always get a crazy pump from doing that. I get the veins going, it's just, it feels good doing that exercise. So that was a perfect way to finish out doing arms. It was a good workout. I am about to start packing for Kelowna. Tomorrow I kind of got like a busier day with editing and trying to film some last minute stuff with Jeff. So gonna start packing, gonna start editing this video for you guys, trying to get this out as fast as possible. But I'm in the video right here. If you're not following me on Instagram or following Kosher on Instagram, then you probably don't know there's a sale going on for Kosher. So head over to the Instagram, check out the promo that I got going on over there and you'll get that discount code for the 30% off. A lot of people have been hitting me up saying that most of the stuff they wanted isn't there and um, I haven't restocked on anything from collection two. I'm just slowly clearing everything out. I know I sold out of two hats. I sold out probably like four-ish sizes and shirts. So there is a lot of things gone, but there are a lot of things that are still there. Use that discount code, get it while it's there. As always, like I appreciate you guys supporting the brand, supporting the videos. I'm in the video right here. If you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Personal over, yeah. Flipping it, I gotta go, yeah. Then I get back on the road.